Hey everybody, my name is Tektos and this is Let's Play Old World. We're back with Queen Neferuri the Mason. And we have now met our neighbors the Greek, who are at war already with uh, Carthage. And I forgot to move the rest of my orders with a scout. Do I want to know how the war is going there? Or do I want to know more about these lands here? I think I first want to know more about these lands here so we'll just move there sadly we can't see that much because shrubbery and forests but we'll get it eventually all right now we have six orders left over well it's too bad you can't bank them maybe there's a tech for that i don't know but uh, yeah you get some money for it so that's okay but i rather have the orders banked for a later time mm -hmm. the merchant is what the Tutmosid family has converted? Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, I don't like this. Can I do something? The family head. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think I gotta read up on how we can convert them. For now, though, who needs some experience? You have my 60, you have my 20. You guys could level up probably. So there we go. Plus one level, and we're gonna promote. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, fine. Um, what we're gonna use to camp here with? I think we'll just leave both units there, honestly, because we are direct border to Assyria. <clears throat> so we don't wanna. We don't wanna wander up too far. I don't trust my. Diplomacy skills to uh, be able to maintain the peace. Court merchants have arrived from Carthage with an offer of trade. They believe our nations would grow and prosper from improved trade relations. What's our response? Let's give them civics for iron. Let's give them civics for iron. Yeah, actually, that's a great, great trade for us, and we'll certainly do that. We have plenty of civics banked up, and we also have a good surplus to turn, and we don't need as many as others to change laws, so have some civics. And let's actually make this decision here. We can have centralization or vassalage. Sadly, vassalage will give us a bonus, but it's pretty clear we want the centralization. I should have done that last episode already, but centralization it is. Because an extra science and now, where's that? Plus 13 trade. Huh, really? 34 only? I thought. Is that factored in already? Anyway, we have a marriage offer. A new marriage proposal for your daughter, Sobek Neferu, has arrived from the Ramesside and Saiti families. We should consider how this will affect the court. Well, they both kind of love us still. So we could afford to take a hit and give our daughter to Assyria. Give us one order as a dowry, that's interesting. <laughs> and we get 10 more opinion. Or we can get 30 wood. And 10 opinion with it. Yeah, but I think we really need to improve We really need to improve with Assyria. So we'll go with none of these and then make a marriage offer. Cost 100 civics and two points, uh, two orders, but that's worth it. And hopefully that'll seal the deal with Assyria and we can then have peace with them. Okay, now we finished producing a warrior here. And we shall place them against the borders here. You can hang out, fortify there, no problem. <clears throat> and you guys just go to sentry mode here. We do have a settler next turn, so then they can heal. Don't think we need to rush it by now. Okay, so every city has their guardian except for Vosset. And uh, we also need more military up here in Paris. Sop do. 
because I don't think Babylon's gonna be patient much longer. But first, let's scout a little bit. Hello there. Ooh, what can we harvest here? Some gems. Uh, sure, I'll take some gems. Uh, what can we find here? Mm -hmm. Feels weird to be able to, to scout again. <laughs> it's been so long. But uh, we still have nine orders left over. We could now afford a gift to Greece, but whatever. We could enact colonism soon. Uh, colonies, rather. But uh, we'll just take the legitimacy hit. I mean, we could we could afford it. We're now known as the able. Oh. Plus 30 legitimacy. Well, Greece is not at war with the Thrakens. Duke Horemheb has recently proven his good sense and insight, so he's gained some wisdom. And Seti has covered, converted to Egyptian paganism. Very good. Very, very good. <clears throat> now this city needs to convert. Anyway, um, foreign marriage offer. A new marriage offer... A marriage proposal from Assyria has arrived for a daughter, Duchess... What? We are the one who proposed that. So, we could take you. Four courage and two discipline. Quite impressive. Five wisdom and two charisma. Even more impressive. He doesn't like us. And we'll join our nation. Uh, more wisdom... But he does hate us. He does hate us. We would use the wisdom now. Courage and discipline, yeah, I think we could use that. We might win him over. Hang on, Sargonids are... Okay, it's their military family. I know it. We'll take the, uh, we'll take the general there. He's younger too, right? Yeah, 20 years. We'll take the uh, the one that doesn't hate us. Don't want any shenanigans. I mean, we would like the wise fellow, but it's it's risky. An unlikely scenario. We have re received a very strange request. Our Egyptian pagan priests believe that the proper sacrifice, their higher power will instruct them in the knowledge of time travel. Excuse me? The... What? The knowledge of time travel, and we should sacrifice 300 food. You suckers, but we can't... Ah, minus 40 for 80 years. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. Before we do any of that, he's still cautious. Come on, dude. Are you cautious? We're different. Educator versus superstitious. Plus five from the ambassador. Mm, we could say we could do a trade mission. Is trade mission. Uh, yeah, trades do give us a bit of favor, so let's do a trade mission. Through the ambassador. Hopefully. It won't matter that he's uh, Babylonian, I think. <laughs> Hopefully not. Okay, so that's that. Let's first um, we'll we'll uh, we'll deal with this later. Let's first get all the workers busy, and then let's see what we have. Okay, so we got the settler that needs to be moved ASAP. I think it's pretty clear, but just to make sure, we'll go. Okay, we have more water tiles here. This will give us the game. But this here will give us cattle. And game eventually. Yeah, I like the tile with the cattle. So we go here. Move there. Next worker. <clears throat> you finished your mines. We're now up to plus 45 a turn. Plus 38. I think we'll build another quarry. Hang on, where's this second worker? Oh, he's here. 
We'll also build quarries down here and behead it, but it's gonna be two years plus three or four, so I think it's worth... Ah, maybe one more mine, though. It's plus nine. But we have plus 45. That's an Axeman every three turns and a bit of stockpile. And we can't even remotely afford anything with the stone we currently have. If we want to build more wonders, because that... What the hell is here? Because I don't think we'll be expanding too much. Ooh, it's going to eat up a lot of orders, though. All right, let's uh, build one more mine, then. Because I don't think we'll be able to expand too much more in the near future. All right. Um, we certainly need more food, then. There's a farm. Why is the game suggesting to build a farm here? Doesn't make sense. But we'll build it here, and that should give us a nice bit of food. All right, so we dealt with the most important stuff here. <clears throat> now, the capital of Ramesside. We now finally have ourselves an officer. And now we would need some more units. But we also need to deal with this discontent here. Um, so maybe we'll start with the forum. Plus two. What's your bonus again? Plus two a year, plus one sun. So yeah, plus 20 XP for new units. Okay, so if we level you up... Oh, only if we level him up. He's gonna have that. Okay. Um, how much will that cost us? Eight years. Sure thing, buddy. We'll need some more, uh, you know, some more civic points here. And... We have you and... You left. Oh, we can now promote you. Okay, we'll go with the focus. That will give us more crit chance. Right, so now we have eight orders. Let's see, we can buy a bit of food. Three, four. 350, though, is going to be ridiculous. That's another 400. Oh man, I hate you pagans so much by now. Minus 40. We can't really afford it. We cannot afford it. We need to build more improvements. Time travel. Yeah, I wish I could time travel and uh, whatever. 330. Oh man, I suck so much. Okay, fine, I'm gonna sell a bit of iron. I hate you guys so much. Um, sell a bit of this. <laughs> Need to sell more. Fine. Uh, let's obey the priests and not think about it anymore. That was a very costly event. Oh, mountain minerals. The mountain of of Ammon Mountains is reported to have layers of an unknown iridescent metal folded into the rock. The reports of the mountain shimmering in the evening captures the imagination of Wasset and soon hosts of interested parties are gathering equipment to explore this new wonder. Which group will you favor in exploration to the mountains? Uh, the Rastrian priests, certainly not. Yeah, we'll take the research. Order samples of the metal to be guarded for research. Absolute no-brainer. Thank you very much. And now we research this stuff. Um, but we can't cross the mountains, so we might check out what's on the border here. And then we'll have to go around... Actually, we can go around some more. I'll just go here. And then go over there. Maybe we can find some more interesting mountains. Choose a research. Very, very nice. So what could we get? Constitution or tyranny? Hmm, and the garrisons. Yeah, pretty clear. We're gonna go with the sovereignty. 
uh, sovereignty rather, because um, the garrisons will enable us finally to put governors in our cities. So I want that. And let's see. We can enact colonies, gain some legitimacy, or serve them, which I think will. I mean, yeah, it's it doesn't make sense. We'll get a bit of opinion here and we'll fulfill our ambition, but I'll take the legitimacy head and go with serfdom, because 20% output on farms and pastures just seems irresistible. We'll pass this law. Could actually change. If we ever need it. Okay. Yep. Still got four orders left over. Really missed the good old times under Queen Hatshepsut. Life was so simple. News has arrived from abroad. That's a pretty hefty blow to Greece. King Alexander the Able is dead. A new ruler, King Antigonus, uh, the new of Greece, has taken the throne. He's 12 years old. He hates us. Well, that's fine. We'll just buy him some Egyptian honey candy or whatever. All he's having a bit sickly. She's now severely ill. Ooh, 70% chance of death. Not good. <clears throat> not in these times. We're currently not at war, so it's alright, but... We could soon be. Okay, so this city now... Uh, it's actually... We have one citizen that we could turn into a specialist somewhere. We have a miner and we have a stonecutter specialist. Mm. And we're at level 3 as well. So let's get a festival going. I mean, it's quick in these cities here. And we get the forum as well, I think. But we'll see. Let's get a festival going, reduce that and rest a bit. And they're parading on our borders here. Not great. Not great at all. Um, We got scouts to do, but first let's deal with the military. Yeah, you guys stay in sentry mode. That's fine. Ah, and we got now a warrior that could hang around here. Could immediately upgrade you to an Axeman, and I think for the purpose of scaring these guys a little bit, We'll do just that, and then have you sentry here. Yeah, it's gonna have five attack. Okay, so now we still have 15 orders, so uh, we could easily scout ahead a little more. Um, but our scout can't move that far. Okay, let's say a little prayer for... Uh, hang on. Could we actually... Yeah, we have so many orders left over, and we do have enough training. We could actually settle this turn. So let's do a force march over here, and settle the next Saiti city of Ken. And let's get ourselves our own, very own worker. And now we could use these orders to heal and bring these dudes um, I guess over there on the border and heal as well. Very good and that's a much better use of our orders. All right let's uh, let's end that turn and hope we can recover from that illness. It's pretty much probably just the stress from having to work that much and that hard. All right so next year the queen will die. Um, which is not great, because I think this here is their personal educated versus superstitious, their personal liking of us. But actually the prince, yeah, that might actually not be bad, because he's also educated, so we should be good with Assyria. That could work in our favor. Of course, nobody likes to die, but we have a competent heir in place to take over, so it's not the worst. We're at peace with our gods, aren't we? Right, so we have plus 10 civics here. Mm, 
Only level 2 unrest. We did complete a worker just now. So the thing to have here is a... Ugh, that's expensive. Build militia though, it's not really... How good is the conscript? Um, <laughs> not very good at all. Uh, let's go with the forum and push back that decision a bit. And let's get the worker to work. You will work... I think we have... I was about to say I think we have enough money, but we really don't. Um, this here is going to be ore, so we get extra... Yeah, but we still need that. We'll need extra iron and we'll also get some extra training points in this city, which will then help us um, recruit military here and we can then move that slinger up there which is a ramicide slinger and not a tutmosid slinger right and we also finished our worker here very very nice and you will certainly go to the quarry get yourself some marble there thank you very much and over here we have now finally plus 15 wood but uh, we also want more food so you will build some fields over there very profitable indeed plus 15 and plus three growth a year yeah yes please okay so we dealt with the most important stuff um, let's see the military here mm, you can heal you can fortify don't really need anything else out of you okay let's explore a bit more uh -huh, there's a city there, and we'll just go around the forest here, because you can't see anything in those forests. Well, apparently that wasn't really worth it. Okay, so Assyria is really tucked in this corner here. And uh, seems like a very comfortable war target. Sadly, we cannot really afford to do that. Oh well, it is what it is. Well... Queen Neferuri had a long and successful rule. She pretty much picked up what was left by Hatshepsut, which is a nice, strong start, and capitalized on it and built on it, and we were rewarded by now being the second after Greece. And that is as much by the size of our empire as by the advanced culture of our empire. Well, not quite yet, but it's going to be. So she will be buried in that pyramid of ours with great honors and uh, we also have a good heir that could pick up what she left behind an old ambition built the blah blah is now a legacy he will have 20 years to complete it okay my sister is now the head of the family she's converted to paganism very good oligarch has died Another one is now head of the family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're bleeding money. Badly. Ooh, 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 we are badly bleeding money. But we are making a lot of science output. I'm liking that quite a bit. Let's see, how are relations with the neighbors? Hey, you are now... He's... Still cautious. Really? With peace with you. How are you still cautious? Anyway, we'll see if we can fix that. But we have plus 80. I mean, that is... Anyway, okay, the speeches. While... Uh, the speeches, yeah. While most of the nations mourns the death of our late ruler, Menakur the scientist, has chosen to defame the dead. In a series of lacerating speeches he celebrates the demise of the previous government he goes on one step further and implicates you in the follies of your predecessor denouncing the state um. mm -hmm. we're not ruthless sadly will become a fugitive. 
Cannot marry, cannot have children, excluded from succession, cannot be governor of governor, blah, blah, blah. Included in a way from court. Ah, oh, that is annoying. What an idiot you are. Manakur the scientists. Cannot believe this. But there's no choice, I mean... There's really no choice. He's defaming... I mean, he's just a me measly mortal. He cannot be able to comprehend her. So I would... I would like to imprison him and uh, publicly teach him some manners or whatever, but I think the worst thing we can do is just throw him out. So we'll do that. Snake signs. The week before your coronation, a seer discovers a strange omen. One dead snake near the palace with three living baby snakes in nests nearby. Startled, he interprets this to mean that you must hold the ceremony in one of the family's seats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Phew. We'll become proud and we'll lose... 10 science. 10. Okay, so we could either go for... And was it? Or would it... T I think we could most realistically... Get the food. Let's see. 4.4. Yeah, that's ridiculous. We cannot afford it. We have to pass up on the 10 science. We cannot afford this at all. Because we're already pretty much broke. Yeah. Sadly, sadly, but we'll have to do it like this. <sighs> Ambassador Bessis has completed his mission to establish a trade network with Assyria. The Syrians are willing to trade, but the terms are not generous. Okay, we can get some money for training, which I think is okay. We'll make 82 a turn. We can give some away. We could trade orders, certainly not. We could trade science. No, I think we'll uh, certainly need the money. And this is a very good trade for us. So we will do that. And we'll choose an ambition. Field for generals. Now let's first look at the families. Yeah, we certainly need to please Tutmosid or Ramesside. Control for woodcutter specialists. It will give us 80 opinion with them. Control for granaries. That would be the easiest. Second easiest would be to fill the generals. Maybe we can find some other way to please Tutmosid. And we will go with the field for generals because it's just just makes the most sense. Um, Ramesside has been providing the military for the Empire and they certainly certainly need to be considered and all, well, most of our units actually are Ramesides, so all of them will then have Ramesside generals and that should really make those happy. And uh, we anticipate wars in the future, so we need a strong relation with Ramesside. We'll please Tutmos it some other way. Okay, so we dealt with that. Now, let's see. We've got plenty of workers. One more in Wasset. Um, two are finished here, actually. So we can have one... Um, plus 11 for this farm. Interesting. We're staying here building improvements. And the other one can connect over here with a road. We're almost there. We connected you. Um, you were connected by oh, by a river. Very nice. Um, so I think we'll just connect over to where's the city center there? This tile here, right? So which road we take? Doesn't matter too much. I like this one though. And you go ahead and build that road over there. Alright, and you can now start improvements. Do we want the pastures? Um, we're still only having 27 food a turn. We'll get another food production here. 
Mm, we'll also need food production here. But then it's getting dry. We get some food production here and along the river. Probably with a granary here and two fields there. <clears throat> but after that, it is looking very grim. So I'll take this one farm here. Let's move you over there. Um, yeah, I'll take this one farm. And uh, wow, we finally got the barracks here. Very cool. We can just build another barracks. Mm, but we do need money. Money, money, money. So we will certainly build a mine here. Thank you very much. And we could now afford to build soldiers here very fast. Cool. And I think we'll go with an Axeman here as well. Oh, level 2 Discontent. Yeah, I think we'll love to come up to level 3. So we'll queue up that Axeman. Over here. Okay. Okay, now we got an idle city there. Was it? Ooh. Was it is uh, approaching level 4 in terms of unrest, so we certainly want that festival. Certainly want that festival, though. Seven years. That is expensive. Um, if we built a forum first. Well, we also have so many. We also have two citizens that we could turn into specialists. So. We do want that. Um, that also costs us civics, so we'll get a forum, but we'll... You know what? Festival 2 plus 16. I mean, it brings minus 14, so we'll just do this. No? We'll buy it out. We have plenty of civics. We'll buy it out, um... And then we'll take the, the hit, but we'll still make net minus 26 and then we'll build a forum in between and then we'll build another festival I and mean, that's that's the plan here okay mm, one military unit here you can heal once more and then finally we got some time to scout ah there's a city site that they're planning to settle on interesting they're fortified on it actually <laughs> Very interesting okay uh, they have archers too everybody has archers except us very annoying. Anyway, guys, uh, we're way over the time. Oh, man, I forgot my time. But it's a special episode with Queen Neferuri dying. Let's see how successful Joser can be. So far, though, he's more on the scientist side, and that should help us with the resource production that we should have coming in once these specialists all get installed and all these workers build improvements. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As usual, comments are much appreciated, and as usual, have a wonderful day.